Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today I got something that changed my life. No lie, totally changed my life about a month ago. I had a coaching call with someone and he showed me a tool he was using called Aqua Voice, I think. And I had never seen anything like it, but it was a voice dictation tool to computer that ran the thing that you dictate through AI and then pasted it. And I took a look at the one that he was using and it was like pulling a thread into all of these different tools that people are making to do this. And the best one I found is called Whisperflow. And I did my due diligence. I looked at all of them. There are a few out there and they're all pretty good. This is the one that was a game changer for me for a few different reasons. I'm gonna give you a little tutorial today. And by the way, um, if you do download this, I don't, I don't do affiliate sales stuff very often, but you can use my code and it's down in the description and you get $15 off or something when you get 2000 words and I get $15 anyway, blah, blah, blah. If you do decide to check this out, use my affiliate code down below. All right, so this is the website. And the first shout out is that the website is freaking awesome. They just got $30 million of funding from Menlo Ventures for the AI powered dictation app. And check out their site, look at this motion in here. It's called Flow or Whisper Flow. And it's, they got all the flow. Shout out to the designers, honestly, it's so good. So I wanna just highlight the site. Uh, you can go to it at whisperflow.ai. Again, you can check it out down in the description. All right, let me show you how this works and what I use it for. All right, starting out, I just have a text edit document on here on my Mac and I have one key programmed as my flow key. When I push that key, it activates the flow AI and you can maybe see it, it'll be a little small, but you can maybe see it on the bottom of my screen when I click, you might be able to see it. If not, there's a little indicator on the bottom of the screen. So I'm gonna go wherever my cursor is, that's where it will paste whatever I dictate. Now it won't paste word for word what I dictate, it will paste it after it processes it through AI and confirms what I'm trying to say and changes what I needed to say or whatever, fixes the things that I fixed. So check this out. If you have some meeting notes that you uh, just finished a meeting with some clients and you're gonna send a recap email, so you might do something like this. By the way, I just pushed the button to activate flow. Uh, yeah, you can see the little indicator down there. It's just a little simple little thing. Hey Sally, it was a super fun meeting. Thank you so much. Just as a recap, I know you had stated that you love comp number three, but Joan was uh, partial to comp number two and wanted to see the button style from comp number two pushed into comp number three on the next round. We're gonna take care of that and send you the next round on Friday, actually probably Monday. Okay, so now you can see this is the difference between just normal voice dictation. Now, first of all, I'm gonna delete this top part when I was talking and it had the little indicator part. But you can see this, hey Sally, it was super fun meeting, blah, 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 Joan, blah, 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 I said all those things. And remember at the end, I said, we're gonna send that to you on Friday. Actually, we'll probably send it on Monday. Look what it did here. We're gonna take care of that and send it, send you the next round on Monday. It got rid of the Friday part. Flow recognized that I was correcting myself and, and only put the one version. Now this is the big difference between using this and like Siri on your uh, voice dictation because it's, it recognizes when you fix something and doesn't just dictate or type what you dictated. That's a game changer. You can actually talk and fix things as you go. Let me show you another thing that you do with this. So here, it didn't, it didn't format this like I would want. I'm gonna go in and tell Flo to format this as an email with bullet points. And when you do that, you can do it as a command. So when I push my button, instead of just starting to talk, I'll say, hey, Flo. And hey, Flo means I want you to do something with the text that I have written right here. Hey Flo, format this like an email and use bullet points for the copy sections. And then I let go and wait one second. These take a little longer because it's processing it through the AI and it has to 
read what you wrote, and then process it. But you can see that it says, thank you for a fun meeting, recap of preferences, blah, blah, blah. We will send you the next round on Monday. Now, this isn't ideal. Um, I would have done just the body part, and I would have left the Hey Sally part on there. So there are places where you have to be careful on what you do, but uh, it is better than using Siri voice dictation. And this thing keeps getting better and better and better over time. It's already gotten some major improvements since I started using it just uh, four weeks ago or something like that. So I'm gonna just go back to this and paste that. Now, let me show you the next thing that I use this for. Uh, I use this oftentimes just as my chat GPT prompt. So I'm gonna go in here to chat GPT and I hardly ever type into ChatGPT anymore. So I'm gonna go in here and paste that copy that I just had. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it as new copy in here. I'm gonna send an email to Sally with recap notes from the meeting we just had. So, hey Sally, thanks so much for meeting. I know you loved comp number three. Joan loved comp number one. You both agreed that we would take the button style from comp number one, integrate it into comp number three, and then when we deliver comp around number two coming up, we will have those changes reflected and we should be off to the races. So thanks so much for the meeting. It was super fun. We're excited about where this project is going. All right, so now, I pasted this in here, and here is the polished version that ChatGPT gave me. So this is my voice dictation using Flow, and then ChatGPT gave me this polished version that I would just copy and paste right into my email. Um, I could also just go in here, and this is what I do a ton, thanks so much, reformat this as bullet points for the body section. And then I click that in ChatGPT. It knows what was pasted above. And then here are the bullet points. And then this is ready to go. Now, my suspicion is that flow over time is gonna do a lot of this itself. You're gonna be able to do this using flow. There are some times when you still have to kind of process things through ChatGPT, which I don't actually mind. I got ChatGPT open all day long anyway. Okay, now let me show you the actual reason that I chose Whisperflow over all of the other options, and it's because there is an iOS app that you can use. So I'm gonna open up my uh, notes doc in my phone, and you can see here it's blank. And on the bottom, when you install the iOS app, there is a Whisperflow dictionary. Let's get this to focus here. See that Whisperflow dictionary? I have the dictionaries highlighted, and there's a Whisperflow dictionary. And then that black button, that is the microphone button up there on the kind of mid left of the screen. Actually, it's the right of the screen. I will push that microphone, and then Flow will be working. So I'm in my notes app on my phone. Hey, Sally, uh, here's the meeting notes. Uh, we love the meeting. You like comp three, Joan like comp one. We're gonna migrate those two together, merge them together and give you round two. We'll present that on Monday. Actually, we'll present it on Friday. And then, let's get this to paste in here. You can see that Flo did a good job of getting that dictation. And you can do all the same things, the hey Flo, et cetera, that you would do on your computer, but you do it in here. now. Fun fact, I reply, I get a lot of messages, a lot of messages from MCA in my community. I get a lot of messages from MCA VIP crew uh, in my text messages, and I'm replying to everything using voice dictation. And a lot of times it's at the end of the day when I go and lay in my hammock and uh, just reply to all my messages using Whisperflow and then verbally saying it. And it fixes all my little things and it, spells everything right and it adds all the punctuation where I need it. It is freaking life changing. Okay, let me show you one last feature that I love about Flow and I'm gonna go back to my computer screen here. 
Um, okay, so I have right here ChatGPT open. Now, if I push a command key along with my programmed Whisperflow button, then it goes into AI answer mode, where it's going to listen to what I say and then give me information about it, like, uh, and by processing it through perplexity AI. So watch this, I'll push command and my flow button. What's the difference between a hippopotamus and a rhinoceros? And when I let go, it opens up perplexity and it gives me, searching for the differences, gives me all of the information that I would want from an AI about the difference between a hippopotamus and a rhinoceros. YouTube videos, uh, text, a grid here, so you can use this just to, with a, with a two button push, get in answers from ChatGPT. Well, it's not ChatGPT, you can get answers from perplexity. Now, another way that you do this is the same way that you're using AI now for things like code snippets. So watch this. I need some code, CSS code, about how to highlight text using CSS for a web page. And here it opens up. I need some CSS code. It gives me the mark tag, gives me my, it gives me what, I have like four different, five, six different ways that I can do that using CSS and it drops it all in there. So talk about speeding up production. It's that stuff that you'd be typing to get or type it in Google and you just get it right there. Literally anywhere that you have your cursor, it is going to process that through Whisperflow when you dictate using that key. It's a total game changer. Okay, the final thing that I wanna show you is the Whisperflow Hub app that is on your computer or your iOS device. There's a little app that's installed and it creates a custom dictionary. It also has notes that you can dictate for quick thoughts and all of the historical things that you've dictated right here. And I'm gonna go into this dictionary and show you here that these little ones with the little yellow star next to them are ones that Whisperflow added because I corrected something. So here's an example, Jenny. J-E-N-N-Y is traditional spelling of the name Jenny, but she spells it J-E-N-N-I-E. -E. Jenny's a new member in MCA VIP, and uh, she's an awesome agency owner, uh, just super good, super talented person. Anyway, I corrected her name a couple of times, and Whisperflow recognized that I was correcting it, so it added it automatically to my dictionary. And now when I say Jenny, it will spell it J-E-N-N-I-E. -N -N -I, -E. I can delete those or modify any of these right here. Another one that I added that was not added by Whisperflow because it doesn't have the little yellow stars next to it is More Palooza. More Palooza is our retreat coming in London in September for MCA. And it's more Palooza, it's gonna be freaking awesome. But that was a word that it didn't know how to spell that. It's a made up word. so. I had to put that into the dictionary so that when I dictate that word, it spells it correctly. In fact, I'm gonna go and show you that right now. Hey Jenny, you should come to More Palooza in London, September 10th to the 14th. So now you can see it dictated that as J-E-N-N-I-E -N -N -I -E, and More Palooza spelled it correctly here and gave the dates. So, Pretty slick, custom dictionary, fixes all your stuff. It's such a game changer for me. So anyway, check it out, Whisperflow. I use it for everything. I may never type again, ever, ever. Works on my phone, works on my computer. I'm like talking in my phone all the time like this to dictate. Uh, it's freaking amazing. It's amazing. So check it out. Use my affiliate code. If you check it out, you'll see that down below. Thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you all soon. Oh, hit the like, subscribe, all that stuff that they tell you to do. Do all of it. Drop a comment. Drop a comment in there.